Hey y'all, I am back. Today we're gonna try out some drugstore makeup by Profusion. They're a very affordable brand that you can find at your local Walmart. Everything that I purchased, each item was under $8. Um, so there's some hits, some mm, and some misses for me. So if you wanna find out what I think of it all, keep on watching. Do I look cute? Look like I'm out of the 50s. Hi. Y'all, this ponytail. It's intense. It's very, very intense. So, that's what's going on here. I went to a birthday party, or I took Jax to a birthday party on Saturday, and I straightened my hair. So, this is what we got. This is what we we working with today. I know, I'm being extra right now. So, as I said in the intro, I am trying out some Profusion items. Now, you can find these at Walmart. You can find them at TJ Maxx, but Walmart has a pretty decent-sized Profusion section. And what I really went to Walmart for was to find the SpongeBob and Wet n Wild collection. I didn't have any luck. It was supposed to be in stores on the 10th, so I don't know what happened there. But it's not at my Walmart, so I'm at both of them. So, what really caught me, what really got me, are two products. Well, there's other products, but these are only two that I grabbed because the other ones I'm just not, no. Nah. But I want y'all to just look at them for a minute and tell me what, you, what comes to your mind. Does this not remind y'all of a certain brand beauty bakery so i got these and then i noticed that they have some other products that i haven't seen so i was like well let me just go ahead and get some items and do do a you know a almost full face of profusion products so let's get into it now everything here was under five dollars except for two items and the first item I'm going to talk about is one of those items. So this is the Profusion Good Brow Day Ultra Fine Brow Pencil and Tinted Brow Gel. Now this at my local Walmart was $7.98. This is what it looks like. So I will put everything in the description bar as well. Um, I have one. They didn't have concealer. So I can't try that out. Um, I already had a bronzer palette um, that you can always find like a bronzer palette or a contour palette at TJ Maxx. So you may not find the exact um, contour palette that I have, but I am going to use that. And I didn't want to purchase another contour palette since I already have one. You know, we work nine to five. So let's take this out of the packaging and give this a, a try. I'm really more into, um, oops, I lost the lid. I'm really more into brow pomades these days, but I'll still use a brow pencil. Hope this is dark enough. I got this in the shade Soft Brown. So that's what it looks like. It's coming up lighter on camera, of course, but um, that's how small the little brush is. So I'm gonna go in normal. This is probably like the perfect color for my brows. Now, I did not find a primer. I thought I found a setting spray, but it turned out it was like some kind of body oil glitter spray. And I'm just not about that right now. So, it's not too like, too emollient, which is fine. It's not stiff either. It's like got a good consistency. This is literally like the same color of my brows, just about. I probably could have gone, uh, gotten away with getting the darker shade, but we'll stick, we'll be fine with this one. So that's what that's looking like. And I didn't have a concealer, so I don't have that to try. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other brow. 
All right, both brows are on. I'm gonna go in with the brow gel. Okay, this is a little bit darker, so that's cool. But if you are expecting it to be, you know, not do anything. But I mean, this is a tinted brow gel. So I like that it's darkening this up a little bit. Okay, so brow gel is on. It looks two different colors because I have a window right here. So of course it's making the side lighter. Just gotta roll with what we got. So next we're gonna try, oh, so perfusion is cruelty in uh, cruelty free and vegan. So next we're gonna try this Profusion Cosmetics Feels Good Feel Good Skin Long Wear Skin Protector. Hyaluronic acid, medium to full coverage, natural satin finish and finish. Finish and it has a SPF of 15. This is what it looks like. I didn't even know they had foundation, so I'm gonna assume this is kind of new. So they had a lot of the lighter shades were out so i hope this one works this is fair three cool pink and i usually try to go with more neutral tones but this will work so i'm just gonna bat this on just kind of get uh excess around the cap let me see how this looks Okay. So far, it's looking really good on the skin. It's definitely medium coverage. Of course, I'm using a sponge, so that's always going to give you a little bit lighter coverage um, than if you were to use a brush. It does have kind of a fragrance, so that might be a little smells like almost like a shampoo so I don't know what if you're if you are not into fragranted um, fragranted uh, foundations you may not like this it's not heavy but again like I said if you're not into fragranted fragranted things I'm just going to get a little bit more. Let's get my chins. Okay, so satin matte. It's definitely, I would say, I would say more towards the matte side. But, I, I mean, I like the way it looks. It looks pretty good. Also, I don't have a powder to set my face, so I'm just going to go in with one of my regular powders. Okay, concealer's on. I just went and used the ColourPop Pretty Fresh. And then to set my face, I used my Halo Glow Setting Powder by e.l.f. So, next, usually I do the eyes first, um, but today I forgot to do that, so we're just going to go on with the face. So, I'm going to contour with my Perfusion Studio Contour Palette. As you can see, this, this used to be what I would use, so it's pretty beat up. You can tell which color I like to use. So, I'm going to go on with that. Like I said, you can find, um, find these contour palettes at um, TJ Maxx all the time. And the reason I like this one is because it has, like, okay, I'm fair, and I don't like, you know, I don't want to look orange. And this has, like, more reddish tones in this bronzer, and I like that. And it's a pretty decent bronzer, of course, since I've expanded my collection. Of course, there are bronzers that I would use over this, but I do have a backup of them. It's not exactly the same, um packaging I mean it is but this one's marble and I haven't touched it yet so yeah I'm just gonna ooh, I'll put too much right there 
See, you see what I did? Ugh. So if you ever have that happen, just go back in with your powder brush and kind of diffuse it. And no matter what, I'm gonna like burn up there. I swear this doesn't look as bad in person, this whole contour, but you know, you gotta work with what you got sometimes. So just deal with it. So that's that. Now I'm gonna go in and I have a blush palette. It's a six shade blush. It's the volume three blush palette. Okay, so here's what the shades look like. You know which one I'm probably gonna go in with. It's between Splendid, which is like a corally shade. No, a peach shade. And this one's like a corally shade. So it's going to be one of these two. <laughs> Maybe both. <laughs> Probably both because it's I'm going to be extra like that. So I'm just going to go with this brush and kind of dip into both. There's definitely pigment, y'all. Definitely pigment. Definitely a lot's happening there. Oh, yes. Definitely got some pigment to it. Probably went too ham. I swear, this side of my face here lately has been doing some weird stuff. And just... Like, I have... Look, right here. This spot right here, for whatever reason, is not holding on to pigment. So, um, I'm definitely going to play with this some more. But for $4.98 not bad so we are blushed up and y'all know how I roll I always go set my face before I do my highlighter so I'm gonna set my face next I'm gonna go in with this profusion whipped glow mousse highlighter and whip it good it was between this and like a pink one now don't get me wrong I like profusions products I mean I think they're decent affordable products um, but <laughs> this packaging y'all it's Fairy Beauty Bakery. So no hate to Profusion, but I see what y'all did there. So I'm just going to take off this and open up my carton. Now the inner packaging kind of gave me um, the carton. Not the carton, but the actual packaging kind of gives me almost ColourPop vibes. This is like a champagne color. So, it's a mousse highlighter. Oh, yeah. So, you got to be very careful. You don't need, probably, I got that much. It's probably going to be too much. So, I'm going to pat it over here and pat it over here. Where's my sponge? Okay, so let me try that again. It's definitely highlighty, but it does rub away pretty easy if you use your sponge. So let me put some more back over here. I mean, look at that. It's giving off. Highlight, that's for sure. This product just may, may be one that you have to kind of work with a little bit more. Um, like I said, you have to be really careful dipping your finger because it is a creamy, moussey like highlight. So I'm gonna put you up close, see how I've got that divot in there. So it's not bad. This would probably be really good on like a very natural makeup day. So, I don't know if I'd necessarily gravitate toward this, uh, towards this as my everyday kind of highlight. But I would definitely use it again on, like I said, a more natural day. So, I mean, it's got some, it's got some glow. We're, we're highlighted. We are definitely highlighted. Um, but it's just a product I think I'll have to work with a little bit more and, you know, get that, get that part going. I'm going to go in with the eyes. So, I got the Perfusion Smoky Palette. And again, I gotta take the tape off. So this one is very cool toned for the most part. 
So these are the shades. It does have shade names. So I've got a sparkler, a sparkling eye topper that I'm going to try out. So let's see. I'm going to start off with the shade Sandstorm. That's going to be that one there. And of course, I'll try to put pictures up here. Oh, do y'all see that pigment right off the bat? Holy crap that girl guy whoever's watching this is 498 for 10 shades and right off the bat i've never really played okay let me take let me take that back so i used to have this like 30 no like 100 shadow eyeshadow like you know the kind that you could buy at Christmas time and it had like a hundred eyeshadows and in it there's like kind of like the old school what was the name um but it was like you know like before you had all the palettes that you have now they used to have like there was one brand that you people used to mention a lot and I forgot what it's called I'm gonna have to put it in here because I'm going to look it up when I get off of here. Um, but I had a profusion palette that was like that, that had like the, the hundred colors in it that I used to use all the time. So I don't even remember. See, I done got sidetracked and I don't even remember. Oh, that's what I was saying. <laughs> I have used profusion, but eyeshadows, but it's been so long. Cause I have so many other palettes in my collection now that, um, yeah, but they're coming out with more, like, palettes like this. Now they're 15 or 20 pan palettes, or only, like, $10, so, like, y'all, this is good. I am, like, thoroughly surprised. I'm not, wasn't expecting them to be, like, you know, a dud, because I've heard people talk about them before, but I wasn't expecting the color to kind of just come and smack me in the face right there, like y'all that is good <laughs> good okay so next I'm gonna go in with the shade Raven it's kind of like a, a grayish black and I'm gonna take that on a smaller blending brush and do that in the outer V Look at that. I am surprised. Like the pigment that I am getting. And I'm not. Look. I mean. That is crazy. I was not expecting it to just come and bite. Oh. Smack me right there. Like that. Like it didn't even ease me in. So I'm going to go in with the fluffier blending brush to kind of work that product a little further up. I'm just so like amazed right now. That is just crazy. And then I'm going to kind of go back in with the original brown shade and kind of blend those two together. So if you need a cheap palette and they have so many different ones they have some colorful ones they had one called the mobs they had one that was called the nudes of course you know a lot of plate a lot of brands have those um they had quite a bit so if you're looking for a cheap pigmented palette y'all this is go get this like i am just I'm just taken back right now. I feel like I'm being dramatic, but I mean, it's just that good. So I'm going to take a little bit more of the Sandstorm color. Let me just pat her off. And again, I'm kind of going back and forth between the brown and the black. Oh, the, the Raven shade. Y'all, this is this Raven shade. Let me just show y'all. Y'all see, that's not like a super black shade, but the way it's coming off on the eyes, I'm just, I'm just surprised, y'all. Don't mind me. 
I mean, look at that. Just look at that. Would you look at that? Okay, so now I'm going to go in, now that I've kind of put some product on there. And it's going to be a little messy. We're going to go back in and clean it up a little bit because we're going to do a little half cut crease to um, do that topper. I'm just like, oh, I'm just so freaking impressed. I swear. See, it looks the same, but with that light, it's just making it look funky. Okay, let me go back in with that and just kind of rub that up there. See, if I would have done the eye tape first, it would have been a whole, a whole nother moment. So, now is the time I'm going to go in and clean up the crease. So, I'm just going to take a flat brush and what color? And I'll give you the prices of everything here in a minute. I need some concealer. I'm really excited to try that topper because I'm a little shooketh right now. So, I'll be right back. Our crease is cut. Um, so, now I'm going to go in with this eye topper. This is in the shade Glitz. And, of course, you know, these kind of all started, I feel like, with, um, I can't even think of her name right now. Dang, I'm going to have to put that up there, too. Who is it? I know who it is. Like, it's there. It's just not wanting to come out. But anyways, I'll put it up there. <laughs> um, oh my god, me and this tape. So it's very luxe looking. Um, of course, you know, Elf makes these as well. These were $3.98. Most of this was $3.98. But the true test will be once it's on my eyes. So... Okay, it's nice, but... Elf kind of has me sold. I just feel like there's packs more of a punch. Maybe if I try a different color. Um, it's not coming off as dark as I thought like it would be. Because, I mean, like, it's a bronzy shade, but it's not really coming off that dark. And, of course, we'll see how these dry down. And they definitely kind of feel a little more rough than the elf ones. But I'm not going to judge it completely yet. So now to kind of tie that in, I'm going to go back in just with any remaining product that I have on this brush. And just kind of blend these two together. Might have to add just a tad bit. There's not really like a a neutral, like a middle shade, I guess you could say. That looks not bad. I just feel like not bad. It's not really going over that too well. I might need to let it dry some more. See right there? It's not really like going over the topper really well and I don't really have that issue with the elf toppers but it's not bad uh, I would I probably wouldn't purchase these ones again um I really do like my elf the elf ones but I mean these aren't bad I mean it does crease up though so it's not really holding but Check out some of these shimmers in this palette and kind of see what those are like. So those are the three light shimmers in the palette. There's like a purple shimmer, but and that's what they look like on the hand. So they're pretty shimmery. So I might have to try that. Oh, you know what? Hmm. Oh, that totally changed the the tone so I just I'm putting some of this bling shade 
over the topper just to kind of add a little bit more punch but that's not bad I like I like the shimmers I don't know I'm just not into the the topper it's just mm -mm, not it for me next I have a liquid liner waterproof formula smooth easy glide application it's called wing it super fly super fine eyeliner y'all they didn't want you to get into these packages okay so we've got a shaker ball in there the packaging is like octagon shaped oh wow that is really like a very small look how small that is hold on let me put it in front of my head look how small that tip is so let's see Oh, and it's a brush tip. Okay. It's going on super black. Okay. Not bad. And let's see, the wing eyeliner, $3.98. But if you're not comfortable with a brush tip... I don't know if this will be the one for you. I'm not like a super pro at wing eyeliner. Now they did have um, extens not extensions. <laughs> they did have false eyelashes, but I, ha I found some mascara. So, did you all see that? Whoops, let me go find that. This is the aftermath of trying to find that pin lid. So make sure when you put the lid on, you put it all the way down and snap it because then if not, you're going to have it go flying like mine just did. So eyeliner is matte. It's very thin, so it's easy to not do such, get carried away with your wing. But the reason why I didn't get lashes is because I did get this, um, mascara. I'm not questioning if it's called mascara, but I'm sitting here thinking, hold on, I gotta look up something real quick. Okay, so I, for a split second, thought this was like basically the same name as the e.l.f. mascara. I mean, it might as well be. It's only one letter difference or one word difference. So e.l.f. has the Lash It Loud, It Loud. This is called the Lash Out Loud mascara. It's in that same octagon packaging. Now I will for for cheap, no, let me not say cheap. I don't want to say cheap. Cheap is such a, like a discouraging word. For such an affordable brand, they do have some like, some pretty uh, decently packaged products. Like, look at this. This looks kind of expensive. So let's see what the wand looks like. Okay, so it's kind of got like that hourglass type wand where it's like thick on the outsides and then thin on the insides. I got it in black noir. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so this mascara is a very thick formula. I mean, I really don't have any lashes, but I'm just not seeing any, like, thing that's blowing me away. And it's just very thick, and, like, when you pull it out, it's very, very tough. I'll have to play around with it more. I don't want to say it's it for me on this. It did. I mean, it's, I don't know. I haven't come to a full conclusion about this yet. It's not bad. I mean, let me not even say that because I don't know yet. I don't know how I feel about it. I just, it's a very thick formula. So, I don't know. So, the final product that I'm trying out is this. It's, it's really cute. I'm not going to lie. And I'm not, you guys know already by now that I am not a lip person really. Um, but 
sometimes packaging gets me. And this one's called Lip Mosa. Now, I usually wear like lip gloss, but this one is in the shade Cheers, y'all. There's like two shades. This one was like one was like a pink. This one's like a more of a rusty shade. Y'all, this packaging is cute. Looks like a little little wine champagne bottle or whatever. So this is just a lip tint. It's a soft matte lip tint. So it's got a doe foot. I wasn't, I don't know what I was expecting, but I don't think I was expecting that. Oh, wow. That's a pretty color. It's very soft. So that's what that looks like. So that's pretty. I probably will wear this because I paid for it. Um, I, I just got sucked in by the packaging. It was this and that other one that just sucked me in. But that's what that looks like. So overall, let's just go back through the products that we tried today. So foundation is still looking pretty bomb. I know I like the bronzer or contour. I just kind of went a little ham, you know. Blush is good, but you know, the palette that I had, I had an old palette that had bronzer too and blush. There used to be this one blush palette, and I want to say it was actually this color, this corally peachy color right here. I don't remember, but um, I like it. The highlighter, I want to play with a little bit more. I do, I mean, it's, your girl has some glow. We look just extra right now, period. Because this look, this eye look is so dramatic. Um, but I wanted to play with that, that lip, or the eye topper. And I wasn't expecting that Raven shade to, like, should it be black. So, um, eyeliner, it's like a semi-matte. Um, it's not fully matte, but it can be, it could be, I could go in with another layer. Um, let's see. Mascara, I'm not 100% sold on it yet. Um, the Lip Mosa, I wish they had like a nude shade. That would be bomb. I'll have to check out and see if I can't find if they have a nude shade. So, yeah. I like the eyebrow stuff. Again, $4. Um, so... The foundation was six ninety eight. PFN Glow. Okay, so the eye topper, the lip, the eyeliner, and the mascara were all three ninety eight. The eyeshadow palette was four ninety eight. Okay, so the highlighter was four ninety eight, and then the blush palette was also four ninety eight. And of course, the brow set or brow was $7.98. I mean, you get two products, so I mean, it kind of evens out again to like the $3.98 price. Um, so overall, I mean, I think it was some pretty decent products. So again, if you're looking for some affordable, like, um, drugstore makeup, Perfusion has some good stuff. Don't sleep on Perfusion. Like, try some of it out. Um, my suggestions would be the foundation's nice. Definitely get you some of the eyeshadow palettes. They have all kinds of eyeshadow palettes. Big, big palettes and then the Tim Pen palettes. They had some colorful ones, like some new ones that are like color coordinated. Now they did have a eyeshadow palette that kind of goes with this, but I just wasn't really filling the shades. So, but yeah, um... I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Help me help me get to the first 100 followers. Um, but I will see you guys next time. Bye.